Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to connect Wix forms to MySQL. So suppose here I have added my Wix forms in my website and now by that form submission I'm getting the data of my customers or the lead data. So here what I want is that as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Wix forms then automatically I want to add that details in my MySQL database. So for this I need to build a connection between Wix forms and MySQL. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Wix Forms, then automatically I'm going to add that data in MySQL database. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can connect Wix Forms to MySQL for seamless data integration. So imagine I'm managing a website on Wix where users frequently fill out forms for various purposes such as contact inquiries, service requests, event registration or job application. Now by integrating Wix forms with my SQL database can significantly enhance my data management and streamline my workflow. Now by connecting Wix forms to my SQL through Public Connect, I can streamline my data management, enhance security and enable advanced data analysis. This integration ensures that my form submissions are efficiently handled and securely stored empowering me to make better business decision and improve overall operations. So by creating this automation between Wix forms and MySQL database, I can have a centralized data storage and all form submissions are automatically stored in a structure and centralized database. This will make it easy to manage, search and analyze data without relying on disparate sources. Also it is going to improve my data security and MySQL database offer robust security features to protect sensitive data. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this automation between Wix forms and MySQL database with the help of Pabli Connect. So for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here by using Pabli Connect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between Wix forms and MySQL database and that too without any coding and programming skills. Now here in this landing page of Pabli Connect, I have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account or we are already an existing user, then we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to connect Wix forms to MySQL. And now here, what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And in this, I have this particular folder of my SQL. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to click on create. And here this will take us to this window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. And here in our workflow, we can only set up one trigger step and multiple action steps. So here I'm going to first set up my trigger and here my trigger application is going to be Wix forms. So I'm going to search for that. So this is going to be my trigger application. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A new form submission will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect Wix forms with Pabli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Vabook URL. And this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Wix forms and Pabli Connect. Now here for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. And now what I need to do is I need to take you to my Wix forms account. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to automations. And now here I'm going to create a new automation. So I'm going to click on this new automation button. And here I'm going to click on start from scratch. 
Now here first I need to select my trigger and here in my trigger I'm going to select Wix forms and here first I need to select which form I want to use. So I'm going to select any here and if you want to select any specific form then you can select that too. So I'm going to select any here and now I need to give my action and here in action what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this option of send via webhook. So I'm going to select this as my action and here I need to connect my webhook. So for that I need to give my target URL. So here in this tab I'm going to give my webhook URL that I have copied from Public Connect. So I'm going to paste that here and now what I need to do is I need to click on activate and here what I need to do is I need to give the name to my automation. So here my name will be Wix forms to MySQL and I'm going to click on save and here we can see I have successfully added my automation. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Public Connect and here in Public Connect we can see it is waiting for webhook response. So how I'm going to get this webhook response for that what I need to do is I need to make a form submission by filling out my Wix forms that I have added in my website. So I'm going to take you to my Wix form. So here I've created this contact form and I have added this in my website. Now here what I need to do is I need to fill all these details to make a form submission and here I need to first give a first name. So here my first name will be test, last name will be user, email will be test user at the rate pablitudes.com. Now what I need to do is I need to give a random phone number. So here I'm going to give a phone number and now I need to give the name of my company. So here my company name will be test company and here I have filled all the required details. So I'm going to click on submit and I have submitted this form. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to Public Connect and here in Public Connect we can see I have received this response. So in this response I have my form name that is contact, I have the name of my company that is test company, I have the phone number of my contact, I have the email address that is test user at the rate pablitudes.com. Also I have the first name that is test, I have the last name that is user and I have all these details. So here we can see that I have received all these details of my form submission from Wix forms and now what I need to do is I need to add all these details of my form submission automatically in my MySQL database. So for that I need to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab and here my action application is going to be MySQL. So I'm going to search for that and here I'm going to select MySQL. Now here I need to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and insert rows will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and now I need to connect MySQL with Public Connect. So I'm going to click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and for connecting MySQL with Public Connect what I need to do is I need to give a database username, database password, host, database and port. So here I need to fill all these details of my MySQL database and by filling out these details I can create this connection between MySQL and Public Connect. So here I have already built this connection between MySQL and Public Connect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this existing connection and you can also create this existing connection by filling out all these details. So I'm going to use this existing connection and I'm going to click on save. Now here for adding all the detail of my Wix forms what I need to do is I need to first select the table where I want to add my details. So for this table name what I need to do is I need to take you to my database and here this is my database and in this I have this table of Wix data. So I'm going to use this table and in this table I'm going to add all the detail of my contact that I'm going to create from my Wix form. So now let me take you back to Public Connect and here for selecting my table I need to open this tab and here in this tab I will find all the tables that I have in my MySQL database and here I have this table of Wix data. So I'm going to select this. And now here I have all these columns. So I have the column of full name, email, phone number and the company. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response of Wix form and I'm going to map all those details here in these tab. So here I'm going to use the response of my Wix form submission and I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to click here, I will open this response of Wix forms and here I need to map the full name of my contact. So here this is the first name so I'm going to map this, I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. 
Now also I have to give the email address. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response of Wix forms. And here this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. Now I need to give the phone number. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Wix forms. And here this is the phone number. So I'm going to map this. Now I'm going to map the company. So here we can see I have filled all these details and I have mapped these details here. So as I have mapped these details, I have made these details dynamic. So here what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response of my form submission from Wix forms, then automatically I'm going to receive the new response of contact. So as I'm going to receive the new response, then all the details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send touch to this button. And here we can see I have received this response. So in this response, I have the status of success. So this means that automatically I have added all these details of my form submission from Wix forms to MySQL database. Now to check this, let me take you to my database. I'm going to refresh this. And here in my database, we can see I have added this new row. So here I have the full name that is test user. I have the email that is test user at the rate pablityouts.com. I have this random phone number and I have my company that is test company. So here we can see that as I have created a new form submission in Wix form, then automatically by using that form submission detail, I have added all the detail of that form submission in my SQL database. Now to check this in real time, what I need to do is I need to go back to my form and here I'm going to fill all these details one more time. So here my first name will be dummy, last name will be user, email will be dummy user at the rate pablityouts.com. I'm going to give a random phone number. And now I need to give a company name. So here my company name will be dummy company. And here I have filled all these details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on submit and I have submitted my form. And now as I've submitted this form, what should happen is that automatically by using all these details of my form submission, a new row should be added in my database in MySQL. So to check this, let me take you back to MySQL. I'm going to refresh this. And here in my table, we can see I have added this new row. So my full name is dummy user. I have the email that is dummy user at the rate pavlitudes.com. I have this random phone number and I have my company that is dummy company. So here we can see that automatically by using all the detail of my form submission from Wix forms, I have added all these detail here in my database in MySQL. So here this automation and this connection between Wix forms and MySQL is working successfully. And now as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Wix form, then automatically all those details of the form submission are going to add in my database in MySQL. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here I've connected Wix forms with MySQL. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Wix forms and my trigger event was new form submission. Then I've set up my action step and my action application was MySQL and my action event was insert row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.